Nobody wanted it. The recording ended a business for me. And said, go out and make record deals. I said, well, I, sure. So I started to meet the people of the music world, the music publishers, the recording companies, and I made some cockamamie deals. You know, my big hit was Davy Crockett with Bill Hayes, who then became the star of Sesame Street and a few other things. But uh, so I got into it in that in that aspect. And what happened was, through the relationships I started to develop. I mean, I put together. I mean, I had Jack Lemmon do an album called The Twist of Lemon. I'm probably the only one in the world with a copy of it someplace. And it was great cocktail piano and great fun doing that album with him because we drank all night, we recorded all night, and it was fun. Uh, I put together an album, I'll never forget, the Decca Records called Club Durante. And I took, in those days, I took what they call the air checks from television shows. So Sophie Tucker, all the guests on the Durante show, we, we made little clips of them and put them in an album and spent three years clearing all the rights and dividing the royalty into fractions, and it sold about two copies. So that was not successful. And these were just all the guest appearances from yeah, the Durante show? Yeah, the Durante show, under the umbrella of the Club Durante album. And it was, it was cute, but nobody bought it. So I did a lot of this, you know, I kept some clients happy, happy for their ego, we weren't making much money. But what happened as a result of starting in that area, I started to get to know the publishers who were coming up with the new songs and the new singers. And I started to follow that a little bit. And all of a sudden I realized, and that was the era when one record was breaking new, new stars. You know, if they could follow it up with a second record, so much the better. And I started to realize that's a good opportunity to find new clients who can make money. So in 54, 55, 56, I really got involved with the music world because I saw, for me personally and for the company, it was a better place to put my time than selling an act to the Perry Como film, which somebody else could do. And I would try to find talent from the recording area that would work and play dates. And as a result... Still now for personal appearances more than for television appearances. Yeah. For personal appearances. So I ended up signing Sam Cooke. I ended up signing Jackie Wilson, Aretha Franklin. I don't know what my attraction was for African Americans, but all of a sudden I was representing big stars. Um, and we were making a lot of money. And this was becoming a hot area. 